Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about my big money bolos. Items that I picked up cheap and sold for big profits. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So these items I picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, pretty much anywhere I can find a good deal. So we're gonna start here with the first one. And these are so, so cute. Look at these. And look at that caterpillar. Oh my goodness. I just adore these. Just the cuteness. They are uh, made by Hildi, H-I-L-D-I. -I. I have never heard of this brand, but found these at a garage sale and just loved them. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe parting them out would have been a better way to go. Some of them have a little bit of condition issues. I just disclosed that in the title. And I put discolorations read and then included more information here. But these are wall hangings. I paid $3 for these at a garage sale and I sold them for $81.25 and the buyer paid shipping. And the buyer is Pinky's Secondhand Store. She has an awesome eBay store. Definitely go and check her out. She has some beautiful jewelry. I think she got this from me on Whatnot. Ooh, nice. Um, I'm almost positive. She is a huge support to the channel. If you guys are not following me on Whatnot, I sell more than jewelry. So come and watch the shows. I'm doing the Goodwill Bins, the lost footage. It has been super, super fun. I had a Fisher Price Little People show. So I'm going to have a crafting show in the future. It's going to be fun. So come over to Whatnot. There's a link down below. You can get $15 to shop when you join Whatnot. I will link Pinky's secondhand store down below. This is her eBay store and she is awesome. So thank you for your purchase. The next item is this Yoshi yarn green little stuffed animal. You guys, he's little teeny guy. Look at him. He's only that big, three inches. Oh my goodness. I got it at the Goodwill bins. That is what it says on the bottom. It's by Nintendo. This is a bolo. Probably have about a quarter in this, maybe 50 cents by weight. Sold it for $39 plus shipping. The next item is this genuine Canon toner ink cartridge. My sister gave me this. So this was free to me. Uh, free to me. Love it. Sold it for $54 and the buyer paid shipping. She's like, do you want this? I'm like, of course, I'm a reseller. Uh, the next item is this wooden puzzle artifact brand Eiffel Tower, 135 pieces, whimsical uh, pieces complete. It is a puzzle. And let me just show you what these pieces look like. See how they're shaped? These are always something to be on the lookout for. Now, this brand I had not heard of, but I priced it high because the pieces were wood and they were in cool shapes. And I ended up selling this for a best offer of $70 plus shipping. And I got it at a garage sale for $3 and it sold very quickly. This little guy is adorable. It's a vintage Dakin Baby Things musical rainbow cloud plush wind up toy. It's from 1983. It is so stinking cute. It does have a little discoloration, but it's still sold for $42.25 plus shipping and I picked this up at the Goodwill bins. Look how cute that is. The next item is this Hunger Games Katniss doll. This took a long time to sell. I got it at a garage sale for $2, sold it for my sale price of $64.99 plus shipping. So definitely worth the wait. Uh, just stood strong on that price and waited for the right buyer. This one, okay, this was really weird. They're... Um, I got offer and offer and offer and offer on this one. Somebody, a friend of mine, Lucky Day Shop, she's like, oh, she's like, yeah, those uh, sorority pins and stuff like that, anything fraternity or sorority, some of them can do well. And I was like, really? Because I don't know a whole lot about pins. And I was digging through pins and we were talking on the phone and she told me that. So check out Lucky Day Shop. She sells jewelry over on Whatnot. And that is her Whatnot name. She also made the earrings that I have in right now. And I have these available over on Whatnot. If you guys are looking for some merch, I've got Halloween, Thanksgiving, and this, just the standard. They're $5 each. Uh, so affordable merch on Whatnot made by Lucky Day Shop. Definitely check her out. Give her a follow. 
And again, that link down below, you can get $15 to shop. They hang awesome and they're super fun. So $5, five, $5. <laughs> that's all they are. And if you have that free money, you can use it towards your earrings. So referral link down below, get your $15 and come hang out with me on whatnot. All right, let's get back to the regularly scheduled series. Uh, did I do that? I did that. I did it. I did it. I can't take it back. All right, let's see. Where were we? Okay, so the sorority pen. Sorority, yes. And I used Google Lens, I think, to figure this one out. And it's got this information on the back. But anyway, I got so many offers on this. I think it was during a time when they were having some sort of something. Something was going on with the sororities. It was good timing. But I got offer and offer and offer. I had it on an auction and everybody kept just sending me offers. And I'm like, no, 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 no. So I relisted it at a buy it now. And I believe my buy it now was higher than my auction start price. And I sold it for full asking price of $55.80 plus shipping. So that was a little lesson learned right there that sorority and fraternity items do well. At least pens. At least in this situation, maybe it's a Delta Gamma. Maybe that's a good one. I don't know. <laughs> All right. This Gans Webkins Pitbull. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. This guy, I took a best offer of $100 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, not all Webkins are created equal. Definitely look them up though. Wow. Some of them can just go for big bucks. I do have a video on Webkins, the ones that sell for big money. This was not one of them. So I am really thankful that I looked it up. And when I didn't see any others, I priced it high and sold it for a hundred bucks. Oh, the wedding dresses. I would not consider this a bolo. I am never picking up another wet wedding dress again, ever, 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 ever. I did sell it for 50 bucks. The buyer paid shipping. I probably have 15 or 20 left. I probably got like 50 of them. Somebody on Facebook Marketplace messaged me and asked me if I wanted them all free. I sent my husband to get them. I'm like, free, sure. Uh, yeah, no, they were horrible to list. I had to like put all of the imperfections. Like, look at this. Dress details. I had to do this on every single dress. It was a nightmare. But back then I didn't mind as much because I sold clothing. So it wasn't as big of a deal. But would I buy these again? <laughs> I didn't even buy these, but would I buy them or get them free? No. Pass, pass, pass. I'm not getting them. Um, no. But I have made a lot of money on them. It was just a lot of work and a lot of them are long tail, but I sold it for $50 and the buyer paid shipping. So you guys do what you want to do. Can you sell wedding dresses? Yes, this is probably vintage, but I wasn't sure how to date them. So I did not put vintage in the title. Vintage Christmas handmade felt sequin bells, tree skirt, table topper, fringe. This is awesome. I got this at a thrift store for $2 and I sold it for $97.50. Anytime you see these, pick them up. There's also felt stockings. If those are pre-made, it doesn't matter if they're pre-made. These come out of kits and people make them. They will sell. This even had some condition stains, little staining on it, and it still sold for almost $100. So a nice little bolo. The next item is this Walco Indian beaded bead craft kit loom. It's really cool. The graphics are fantastic. It is vintage. I got this at a thrift store for $5. I'm guessing these beads are pretty cool. Condition, not really great, but ended up selling this for a best offer of $41 and the buyer paid shipping. It is a Techie Toys Halloween Spirit Scary Flying Monsters Grim Reaper Noise and Sound. And I put this over on my YouTube channel showing that the item worked. So basically, I didn't put it on um, a thing to like fly it because I'm pretty sure it had never been used. But I took it out and I plugged it in and I made sure all the rotation and all of that stuff worked. And I put it on my YouTube channel with a demo video. I should have put a demo video in the listing because the buyer, when they bought it, they sent me a message. It was already like it was predetermined that it didn't work. Um, they said, if this item does not work, I will be returning it. But I can't cancel the order because if I cancel the order, 
then I'm going to get a ding on my account. And I don't want that. So guess what, guys? They opened a return saying it doesn't work. I even sent them a message back saying, okay, thanks, no problem. I tested the product. It's in working condition. And I still got an, I got a, an open return right now. I'm waiting to get it back. And, you know, sometimes you just know there's going to be a problem, but there's nothing you can do about it. What did I, I bought this at a garage sale for a dollar, sold it for $45.50. So definitely a bolo. I will try to keep you guys updated on that. The next item was an awesome surprise. It is a vintage HAR Frogman figural brooch, pin, enamel. This is a harder to find brooch. I flipped it over and it said HAR. I'm not sure what brand that is, but what I will tell you is this thing was in such great condition. The enamel looked so good on it. I priced it high. I ended up taking a best offer of 75 just to move it. Um, I probably could have held out for more. It is really, really cool. And I buyer was all in for $84. The next item are these skunks. All right. Speaking of whatnot, these skunks, I brought them to whatnot. I think they were in one of my Christmas mystery boxes. So I was selling them during a Christmas show. So probably not the best time to sell it, but they do have some marks on them. Like on the tail there, they were not in perfect condition. These are chalkware. Chalkware, always pick it up. But what is more cool about it is they are skunks. I mean, I don't know. I think I started them at $5 on whatnot and nobody bought them. And I said, you know what? I'm bringing them to eBay because I know I can sell these bad boys and I know they're a bolo. Sold them for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. So um, do I bring things to whatnot that I will sell? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, I do not use whatnot as a platform to sell things that I don't want to sell on eBay. I bring everything. Like right now, I'm currently doing the Goodwill Bins videos, and it is everything that I bought for myself to sell. I'm bringing it to whatnot, uncurated. So come check out those shows. I think I've done two or three. I probably have two totes full that are still coming to whatnot. That's the unseen uh, footage or the lost footage. It will never be seen because I deleted the videos. So I'm bringing all that to whatnot. So grab that link, get your $15 to shop and come hang out. This is a um, hat, a beret hat. I think that's how you say it. And this is a beret hat also. And she picked both of these up for $80 plus shipping. And this was also purchased by Pinky's Secondhand Store. You guys, I will link her down below. Go give her a follow. She is so supportive in the reseller community. And she has just been so great to me. She purchases from me like, I don't know, three or four times a month. And I just really appreciate her. Um, I got these at a estate sale. And they are super, super cool. They are way vintage. And here is, I wanted to show you guys the tag. Here's the tag of the other one. So you can see Made in Scotland, just really cool pieces. The next item is this vintage Beatrice Potter printed cross stitch kit. It's for like a nursery. It's by Erica Wilson from 1977. And it is so cool. And somebody picked this up for a best offer of $45 plus shipping. I got it at an estate sale, probably had about a dollar. This is a vintage lawn wear hanging patio RV camping swag lamp. How cool is that? I picked, uh, I think, four of these up at a garage sale, maybe six. I think four. Two were this color and two were like a cream color. And that's what they look like on the bottom. I paid $5 each. And this one sold for a best offer of $50 plus shipping. And it looks like I have one left. This big old plush Dalmatian by Melissa and Doug. I put lifelike. I think a better word would be realistic. Uh, not I. I listed this a while ago, and realistic is definitely a better word. I got it at a garage sale for $5, sold it for $65, and the buyer paid shipping. And the last item sold so fast, and I have one other one listed in a different style without the tags, same print. So I'm guessing it's going to sell pretty quick also. This is a Vera Bradley, and it's got sloths on it. Look at this print. Oh, my goodness, the cuteness, right? I sold this for $81.25. The buyer paid shipping. And I got this at a garage sale for $2. That's it, 
<laughs> and the buyer paid shipping on this one. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out my description down below. I've got a Facebook group, Instagram. I also set, uh, use this perfectly to cross post my items. You can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. There's a demo video down there. If you're not selling on multiple platforms, definitely check that out. I also have what sold videos for Poshmark and Mercari if you want to see what's selling on those platforms. Um, Mercari is great for toys and plush. I love it. Uh, Mercari, if you want to join Mercari, you can get $10 to shop when you join, another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. I couldn't remember. It's $30 total. So grab that link down below. That's free money. Use that money to buy something to resell and make even more money. And Poshmark, when you use my link, you get $10 to shop. So those are all my referral links. I've got American Bubble Boy. What else? I don't have a ton of referral links. I only share with you guys the things that I actually use. So those are all linked down below. Definitely give them a looky look um, and let me know if you have any questions. All right. Thanks for watching.